Hello, Strasburg United Methodist Church and others watching this daily devotion today. It is Tuesday, October 20th, 2020. I'm sharing with you again today uh, from Daily Prayer and Praise. This is a devotional book I found on my bookshelf. Uh, it was originally put together by George Appleton back in 1962. And although the language is a little dated and we still are using a lot of male references for God and mankind and kind of forgetting about half of the population here, I'm enjoying some of the sentiments that we are hearing from a bygone age, uh, nearly 50 years ago. So today, the devotion is called Food for Life. O Lord of light, make pure our hearts that we may see thee. Reveal thyself to us that we may love thee. Strengthen our wills that we may choose the good from the evil. And day by day manifest in the world the glory and power of thy blessed gospel which thou hast made known to us through thy Son, Jesus Christ. Our Bible reading today comes from John chapter 6. I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger, and he who believes in me shall not thirst. The editor had this meditation to go with that verse. Our spirits need food as much as our bodies, our Lord shares with us his own life, which has conquered all difficulties, temptations, hardships, and even death itself. Every time we touch him in prayer, every time we meet him in Holy Communion, his life passes into us to cleanse, strengthen, and invigorate us. Will you pray with me? O Lord, make me to hunger after thy heavenly food, which is thyself. Denied to none that comes, that life given for the life of the world will mingle now with mine, not according to my feeble desire, but according to your love. We remember farmers today, so let us pray for farmers and all those who are helping with our natural resources in this world. Give, O Lord, to all who till the ground wisdom to understand thy laws and to cooperate with the wise ordering of the world, and grant that the bountiful fruits of the earth may not be hoarded by the selfish or squandered by the foolish, but that all who work may share abundantly in the harvest of the soil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, today. And here's a thought to remember today. Man does not live by bread alone, but everyone lives by everything that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Now, one thing I like to do is when I pray about farmers, I like to think about those other folks other than farmers who also do a lot of great work. We have those who work and manage our forestry department. And uh, at our church, we have a number of people who work with the Virginia Department of Forestry and um, the Federal uh, Department of Agriculture and just some other places. And they're doing some great work. Uh, helping us be able to share the resources within our world and our communities. So let us not forget those who are working on managing our natural resources. L let us not forget those who raise livestock. We have some very active youth at this church who are doing great things, uh, raising cows and pigs and uh, chickens and other things like that. Uh, in our valley, it's very important for the turkey industry and the chicken industry. We have a lot of those battery farms up and down the Shenandoah Valley. And so we remember all those who are working in uh, factory farms, too. So if you will remember with me this day to pray uh, for all those who work the fields, who work the land, who work with livestock, and who manage our resources. Today I'm going to share with you a song, and I hope you enjoy it. Will you join me in singing, Let Us Break Bread Together? Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, oh Lord, have on me. Let us 
string Wind together on our knees Let us string Wind together on our knees When I fall on my knees With my face to the rising sun O oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let us praise God together on our knees. Let us praise God together on our knees. When I fall on my knees, my face to the rising sun. O oh Lord, have mercy on me. Thank you very much for being here with me today. I hope you enjoyed that song. May God bless you, and I will see you tomorrow.